Okay, so your assignment was to get a four pack of, <laughs> four pack of toilet paper. And what our objective is, is to look at the quality, uh, see if there's any problems. Uh, I have a roll here, I'm trying not to show the brand. Is the, first of all, is the plastic sealed? Is the package sealed? Uh, is it too uh, loose? Is it attractive? So we need to assess our quality as consumers of how the overall packaging is. Uh, you might even look at the print of, uh, on the plastic to see if that's properly done. Now, uh, our job here is to open it up and we're gonna look at each of the toilet papers. What do you value as a consumer when it comes to quality toilet paper? A lot of times we get toilet paper and we can't get, can't get it started. So, oh, here we go. Too much glue it looks like. Oh, well, yep, see, uh, yeah. Uh, so, while we are going to count the number of sheets on each of the four rolls in the pack, and, but while we're doing that, you might need a secretary or a note taker because we need to look at defects. How did this go? Did the opening start out right? It looked like it was off to a rough start. It also looks like the toilet paper's, well, it's, okay, that wasn't so bad. Oh, see here? Now we're all hung up. Oh God. And need to make a note of these things. In the past, uh, we've seen problems with opening uh, the roll, just as you saw here. We've seen dirty spots. Uh, we've seen holes. And sometimes this is supposed to be two ply and the plies are off track. Uh, here it looks like we're on track for the moment. Uh, and also, at the end, is it glued up too much or is it not glued? I don't think these, well at least the last time we, we did this, uh, the inside, the end of the roll wasn't glued on. So what you're going to do is be looking for things like this, tears and snags, where it gets all hung up and we're going to assess uh, the quality on those, those factors. You, you'll have uh, other factors that you care about, but we need to take notes and see how many times these things occur. Once we've done our little checklist, we're building a checklist as we go along, uh, then we can turn that into a bar chart and a Pareto chart. Uh, you can look at that video. Now, in order for us to assess the quality here, we're going to need to, we're going to build a little control chart and see what's going on. So we need to count these sheets, these two plus sheets. Now you could do it one at a time. Uh, some people do it uh, 10 at a time. Like they would fold it up real nice and do say 10. Oh, there's another snag. See, we got quality problems all over the place. Uh, so then we would count them. They would count up 10 and then bring it down and then bring it back up, matching, matching the uh, uh, perforated sheets. And uh, it's hard to do it right here, but you can do it easily on a table. Just count 10 and then fold over and do 10. Check on your quality uh, attributes, uh, fold it over and do 10. So we need to know the total amount of sheets on this roll of toilet paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and Roll it out. Everything looks pretty good here. Okay. Everything looks, oh, no, nope, we got a, I don't know if you can see it, but we got a little dirty spot there. <laughs> uh, okay. Everything nice and nice and straight. Uh, now we need to count all of these. I'm not going to count them right here because, uh, okay. That looks good. Oh, there's another little dot. Oh, there's another little dot. Maybe something on the machine is, uh, has something on it. Oh, there's a hole. 
we have a hole here. Keep on going, keep on going. The problem with uh, toilet paper here is it's hard to start the unrolling. And then we get to the end and Lord knows what's gonna happen. But this does look pretty good, pretty good. We've got a few holes. <clears throat> Plies seem to be on track. I'll speed this up. Another little tear or smudge of something. <clears throat> Maybe the roll got... Oh boy. Now see we're at the end and here's where it all goes bad. But this is now glued for this company. It's glued. It's starting to tear. Boy, you're out of luck. You thought you had a little bit left here and boy, now it's all, all glued on. Well, actually, believe it or not, we could call this an improvement because I've seen it where the, <laughs> the toilet paper goes to like this wide. Okay, so we have that. You can still, it's still usable. Uh, so, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna send me a chart that looks like this. You have the brand name. I need the name of the brand. It is a four pack. Now on roll number one, you're gonna count and tell me how many sheets are on there. See on the package, it says 200. In this case, it, it could be 200 or 250. In this case, it says 200 ply, Two, 200 sheets. Uh, this example right here is actually from a roll from another company that says there are 250 sheets on the roll. And this is a real example. <clears throat> actually, the first roll only had two, 240 sheets on it. So, uh, in God we trust, now uh, it's not right. They're cheating the customer. Uh, the roll number two, oddly enough, had 240 as well. Roll number three had 243. Roll number four had 243. So, now if, <laughs> if the goal was to put 240 sheets on each roll, we'd be doing you know, pretty close. Right on target, right on target. Give the customer extra three sheets. We would like that to come down and get tighter, but at least we wouldn't be cheating the customer. But in this case, they're cheating. Cheating, cheating, and cheating because there was supposed to be 250 on there. Now, we're gonna take this sample. This is like a random sample of four. You went to the store or you're on the uh, the production line and you grab a sample set of four rolls and you're gonna do all of this count them up put them on on here and then we're gonna get the total and then we're gonna divide it by four because there's four of them and we get the average in this case the average was 241.5 sheets on a roll this means that they're cheating they're just cheating the customer now, another thing that we need to do is find the range of the toilet paper. So, in this case, we need to find the highest number and the lowest. So, in this case, our highest number was a tie at 243. Our lowest was a tie at 240. So, we have 243 minus 240 equals a range of 3. That's pretty tight. It's just in the wrong spot. It's supposed to be at 250. So they're consistent with their cheating. Okay, so uh, that's our big thing for tonight. Uh, we're gonna inspect the quality, looking for defects along the, the four, pack, four pack and the package, and then individual rolls. We're gonna tally all of these up. And then when we kind of flip it over to Three, two, nine, just put a nine there, and a seven. And then we have our, our little bar chart. Something like that. 
And then to turn it into the Pareto, we'll just move the three over here and the two over here and the two over here. So now we got it in order. And if we want to make a big impact and these all, all of these matter to the customer, we need to attack here. If we can solve these two little big problems actually, then we'll, we will have conquered, uh, gosh, over 60% uh, oh, of our problems. Okay, so hope that makes sense and have fun uh, inspecting and counting your four pack roll of toilet paper. Don't forget the brand name. All right. <laughs>